Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Everything Spice. Tonight I'm using my leftovers to make a lo mein. How fun is that? Why not repurpose your food instead of having to throw it in the trash? So I had some leftover chicken stir fry and some shrimp and I'm going to use it in that. So that pot right there, that wok, I'm actually boiling. I boiled some linguine earlier and right now I'm chopping some mushrooms and some green onions and I have regular onions, some ginger, some garlic. You'll see as I go along as I'm chopping and dropping what I'm doing and the pot of water that I use for linguine, I'm going to blanch my green beans because it'd be too hard if you use them in the stir fry, it would never soften up enough. So I'm going to see you in a moment to talk about the next steps in this stir fry. Stay tuned.
All right, I'm back. And right here I have some cilantro that I chopped up as well for my herb, my fresh herb. I have some, I'm making the sauce now. So I put some pepper. I have like a teaspoon of salt in that bowl. I'm using some pork paste I got from an Asian market. I'm using like a tablespoon of that. And that gives it a nice base. It's like a pork base, um, but you can certainly substitute vegetable, vegetarian or vegetable base if you want to. I have some uh, sesame oil. And I use like a, yeah, like a teaspoon, a smidge of that. And then I also have some Marian, which is kind of like that little wine. It's a non-alcoholic wine. And I put like a tablespoon or two in that. The next ingredient is, yes, it's low sodium soy sauce. So I do about, I would say like maybe a fourth of a cup of that, of low sodium soy sauce. But you can use less and you can use more. It just really is adaptable to your tastes, basically. I have there also, I have oyster sauce, which I use like about a tablespoon or two of that as well in this sauce. It's a really nice flavor that it imparts in this stir fry, this lo mein. And then my favorite thing, the dark soy, it gives it that nice rich look to it, like in a restaurant. And I use quite a bit of that. So maybe I would say like a fourth of a cup of that or at least three or four tablespoons of it. But like anything here, it's a method and you can use more or less depending on your taste. It is sweeter, molasses -y. Then I stir that in. I put some of that liquid that I had from the blanching or the water um, into this sauce too because there's a pasta that's going in so you need some more liquid. And the one thing that I didn't tell you I added which was um, some brown sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar. So right now I'm starting the stir, stir fry. I'm sorry that the voice is not on, the children were a little loud, but there's a sizzle when that garlic and the onions uh, and the ginger hit the pan. So we'll pretend when we put it on that we're hearing that sizzle, sizzle, sizzle. <laughs> so watch the method of my stir fry and I'll talk to you on the other side.
All right, I'm back. So what we're doing is we're going to put the sauce into the wok now, and we're going to heat it up. It has to be heated up, not like boiling cr like crazy, but it has to be warm enough because we're using cornstarch and cornstarch mixed with water. So we used about two tablespoons. I put heaping, but you can just use regular two tablespoons of cornstarch with some cool water. So the cool water mixed in with the cornstarch, once it hits the hot soy sauce mixture in the wok, it's going to thicken and make a beautiful gloss. You'll see, and I'll talk to you on the other side. See, as you can see, it's beautiful, glossy, and ready for its close-up. We're at the finish line, my friends. So now everything gets put back into the pan. All the vegetables, all the proteins, and the pasta, and it's all going to get mixed very well, combined beautifully. And then you add, as you're going to see as I go along, the finishers, which basically is the green onion and the cilantro and that's all going to go in at the end because it's kind of like step to step this is with chinese cookery it's kind of step by step you do all these things um it's there's a real purpose behind it with chinese cooking they don't just throw things in the pan it's very methodical they really think about things when they're doing it and it's a beautiful way of cooking i really do love it it's very vegetable based so for you vegetarians out there you certainly don't have to put the protein in there and they do have like different types of pastas that you can use today that to suit your taste whether it's whole wheat whether it's gluten-free uh, whether it's you're on a carb you know diet a low carb diet they certainly have different pastas that you can use to mix and match and really suit your family and that's what i love about this lo mein it's so customizable to each family and each person so i hope you try it I hope you enjoy it. Um, just keep watching and I'll show you the finished product in the end. Thanks for watching Everything Spice. This has been such a fun episode for me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I will see you next time on Everything Spice. Take care, everybody. Be safe.